March, knowing that one month from today you will uh, be getting a, a daughter, so I thought I would uh, talk to your record here a little for a little while. Um, Clayton, of course, is uh, a very lucky boy. I think I think he's doing exactly the thing that will be most helpful to him, and I think he's getting a wonderful girl. And, hope to be there by that date. However, I don't know. We'll have to uh, wait and see just how things work out. But uh, I hope we, we can make it uh, there by the 8th. We're going to leave here on the 30th, but we'll rest along the road, take our time, and take the full eight days, I suppose. And uh, if the weather is fit, we'll go on up home, and if not, well, we'll turn around and go back down in Kentucky somewhere. I have written to uh, Nelson Reed, and uh, however, Ron Hansen has told me that there's drifts out in front there around six, seven feet deep. If that's the case, I'm not going up there and sweat it out in that snow. Well, anyway, I got Roseanne's beautiful letter here yesterday, and uh, quite frankly, I think you're doing a wonderful thing by buying this new home. It's a, it's in a nice location, as I can see. Uh, any property out that way is, is well located. It's well drained. It's hilly, and, and uh, you're not crowded. And, of course, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, I'll be glad to go out there and see the location when I see you. And uh, maybe then this summer I can make a trip down, and of course you with the four bedrooms, why, um, naturally you'll probably have one for me. I don't know, but anyway, there's two bathrooms, I can sleep in one of them. Uh, Thelma picked up some magazines over at the library recently, the American Heritage. They're wonderful magazines, they sell for $3.95 a copy, they're published twice. Uh, every two months, and the, the yearly subscription is sixteen dollars. So, uh, anyway, there's a story there of the surrender of Frigidor and the interlocking islands. I often wondered whatever happened to that little, well, rather a big battleship rock made of concrete out there in the South Channel. Uh, I guess you can hear those planes going over, they're buzzing us all the time here, the, they're the uh, F-4C Phantoms, they're the fastest thing we've got, and of course, men are leaving from here almost daily for the, but you know where, so the helicopters go through here, there's six or eight a day, and passing through, they stop over here at the base for gas, and then they go on to the coast, of course, they're headed out that way too. But anyway, this rock was hit on the 5th day of May, 1942. It was hit with 1,000 shells. And they knocked off about 12 feet of the concrete. Of course, the walls and the top were 16 feet thick. But those 14-inch guns kept right on firing and fired constantly until five minutes before the surrendering time, which was 12 noon on the 6th of May, 1942. And, uh, of course, I was a battery mechanic, and it was up to me to see that they were well taken care of, and that I did. And uh, I rather, we was there seven months without getting off, and I was rather hated to leave there because I knew I would never see it again, and I, I was accustomed to it, and I, I liked the place. I had a squad of men twice a week to, uh, police up the batteries, of course, quite a lot of work there. But anyway, it's all over now, and everything is shambles. Some pictures here showing how Grigador went down to the last battery, and uh, Wainwright, of course, said he, they'd have to come and get him, and which they did. MacArthur told him just to get out, and he'd be back. But uh, you run out of troops when they're all half dead, you know, there's thousands wounded and unconscious in the Melinda tunnel, and of course there was 150 nurses in there, and they only had two days of water left, and uh, the batteries were all knocked out, and, uh, except two anti-aircraft guns, of 
first the planes come in so low, strafed the island, and bombed it, that uh, these guns were useless. But anyway, so be it. I would, uh, I would like to, to know, of course, just how well Mike is getting along, and uh, if you think he could uh, make that test out at U of M. I tell you, I'm hoping that Michael can uh, uh, understand that uh, under this new select service that the president is proposing, that uh, at the age of 19, these boys will be called. There's no question about it. And uh, I don't think there'll be any deferment for for uh, college men. Uh, there will to a certain extent, naturally. The, the men are probably up in Bob's category. I mean, the A and Bs um, in certain other qualifications. I believe the doctors and dentists who are studying for, for it will uh, no doubt be uh, allowed to finish their their uh, education because of the shortage. And we don't have a doctor in the family, and I was just wondering if Mike would, uh, could fill in there somewhere, with either a dentist or a medical doctor. Uh, it's a good paying outfit, uh, this dentist. Boy, oh boy, they're making plenty of money. No, I didn't know that uh, those deaths in the office that met Roseanne mentioned, I had no way of knowing. Uh, O'Connor, I believe she said one, and I didn't know him. And, uh, and of course, Al, Al, uh, what's his name? I've heard you mention him, I didn't know him either. But he was one of the, one of the, one of the boards of the, uh, Commissioners, I believe, but O'Connor, I think, was probably a, just a, an attorney there with you, wasn't he? Anyway, I was just wondering how long uh, it will be before they replace and uh, step you up there. I believe you will deserve it. You should get it. You're, you're getting a lot of time in there, Clayton. And uh, buying this new house is going to cost a lot of money. <laughs> And these boys going to college, so keep plugging. I know you will. And uh, there's nothing I can do to help, as I can see. I have no no push at all anymore. Well, I wouldn't have enough to carry any water there anyway. But uh, you take it easy now, and don't overdo it. They don't don't get scared because some of these young fellows are dropping off uh, in a hurry because they push and push and push and, and keep, Thelma says to keep your weight down. Now this 